Hi, welcome back to Data Edo Bootcamp. I'm Richard from the Data Success Team. Now that we've spent some time getting to know the Data Edo apps, let's take a step back and talk for a minute about another important component of the data catalog, that is the business glossary. The purpose of a business glossary is to provide clear and concise definitions for terms used in your organization. This allows people from different areas or departments to understand each other better. It also helps ensure that reports are created and interpreted with a correct understanding of the underlying data. You can manage your business glossary in either Data Edo Portal or Data Edo Desktop. I like using Desktop because you can use drag and drop to complete a lot of actions. We're looking here at Data Edo Desktop, but before diving into that, let's talk about some things to remember when building your business glossary. First, the business glossary should focus on terms that represent business concepts in your organization. There's no need to create a glossary term for every column in your database. Focus instead on important terminology needed to enable communication between workers and support correct use and interpretation of the data in reporting. Second, each term and definition should appear only once in the business glossary. If two terms have the same meaning, or if one term has multiple meanings, there should be a process in place to come to an agreement for the preferred term and its definition. Sometimes this involves refining definitions or finding an alternate term. This isn't easy, but it is worth the effort because it supports effective communication and proper use of the data. Third, in an ideal world, there should be only one business glossary for the entire organization. One of the benefits of having a business glossary is that it helps reduce siloing between different parts of the company. Having multiple glossaries encourages siloing and increases the risk of breaking the rule about unique terms and unique definitions. As you can see in the Repository Explorer, I've already broken the rule about having multiple glossaries. I can fix this by creating a new category in the AdventureWorks glossary, which I will call Acronyms. I can then go to the Acronyms glossary, multi-select all of those terms, and drag them to the new category. And we see they've moved. Now I simply remove the other glossary from the repository. The first thing you need to do to get started on your business glossary is to create the container where it will be stored. To do this, click on Add Container and choose Business Glossary. Then give your new glossary a name. Don't worry too much about the name right now because you can change it later if you want. For the rest of this video, I'm going to be working with this sample glossary that I created earlier. The most important aspect of the glossary is writing definitions for the glossary terms. Let's look at the term ticker symbol, and we can see that it has a pretty good definition. But if we look at customer, we see a definition that isn't very good. We can fix that by typing or pasting the new definition here into the content area. It's still not a very good definition, but you get the idea. You enter and edit glossary terms definitions in this area. Next, let's see how Data Edo lets us define relationships between glossary terms. To see that, we'll click on the Related Terms tab, and we can see for customer, it already has two relationships. Customer is used by customer product review, and customer is used by customer purchase order number. Let's add a relationship to another term. To do this, we click on the Edit Term Relationships icon. Then we find the related term, which is going to be Client. We click on the checkbox, and we choose the relationship right there. And we hit Save. See the new relationship? Customer is a preferred synonym of Client. And if we go to Client, we can see the reverse relationship. Client has a preferred synonym of Customer. But I want to show you an easier way to do that. So I'm going to delete this one. And now we can simply click and drag the related term into the related terms tab like this. Now we choose the relationship there and we hit save. There is that relationship. Customer is a preferred synonym of client. Another feature of Data Edo Business Glossary is to link terms with data objects. To see this, let's go to Linked Data Elements. And here we can see the source of the data that is represented by the glossary term customer, as well as a report where that data is used. 
To link a term to a column or table, you click on the Edit Data Element Relationships icon here. Then we search for the element. I am looking for the sales.customer table, which is right there. We can choose it, and then we hit Save. But I'm not going to do that. Again, I'm going to show you a shortcut. The shortcut is that we can go to the Repository Explorer and browse for the table that we're interested in. Here it is right here. We're going to click and drag it all the way up to the Business Glossary where we will drop it on the Glossary term. Alternatively, and even easier, we can simply drop it over here into the content area of the Linked Data Elements tab. And we say yes there is that relationship showing that data about customers comes from the sales customers table. Before I end this video, I want to mention one other function. If you already have a list of terms and definitions in Excel, you can right click on terms under your business glossary and use the bulk add entries function right there. This allows you to copy and paste those terms and definitions from Excel into the Business Glossary in Data Edo. But this does come with a word of warning. The import function does not check for existing terms, so you may end up with duplicate terms. If that happens, I recommend that you compare them one by one to find which has the best definition and delete the duplicate. That covers the basic of Business Glossaries in Data Edo. For more information about them, feel free to contact us at success at dataedo.com and we'll be happy to answer any questions. Now hold on tight because the next video is about data dictionaries in Data Edo. I'll see you there.